I think our audience got to know Mike Scott the way I know Mike Scott. No, okay. no, not quite. That would require tequila. <laughs> I, I do have some. I do. All right. On your campaign website, I did look. I do my research. On your campaign website, you ask, why should you trust Mike Scott? And I love the answer you give there. We'll let the audience see what the answer is on the website. They can go to it's mikescott2024.com, right? Yeah. So, But more importantly, because it's got to do with trust, why should you trust Mike Scott? How do you build trust with others, whether that's people on your team or the voters in Maryland? Consistency. My message is consistent. I want less government. I don't care if you're in the KKK. If you want less government and less taxes, I will support you. I don't care if you're Black Lives Matter. I don't care what your politics are. Uh, who was it? The Gottmans. Uh, John and Judy Gottman, they're doctors. They have the Gottman method where they can predict with 90% accuracy whether or not you and your wife will make it based on watching your interaction for like 32 seconds. I don't know how it all works. They're big into it, but they said 69% of the time, you don't change your mind. Whatever you argue about day one in a relationship, you argue about day 50, day 3 million. If you're in the relationship, you're going to argue about it. People don't generally change. I'm not trying to change anybody's mind. I'm trying to get you guys on board with saving America. I have a way forward that I think will work. And my message is consistent. These are my plans. If you trust me, if you don't trust me, understand that you can trust that this is where my interests lie. And that's what you should trust is aligning interests. The last thing you should trust is a politician. And if you want to know if you should trust somebody, you ask them. If they say, hell yeah, don't trust them. <laughs> Do not ever trust somebody that says, trust me. It, it so. sounds like it's a lot about building common ground, uh, finding common ground and building on that common ground. Yeah. And, and trying to do what's right, because that's really all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to go in this for the money. I think we got way too many people beholden the money. Did I say I'm not going to take advantage and make money while I'm in there for myself? No, I did not. What I said was I'm going to shrink government and try and fix it so that nobody can go in there and enrich themselves. I'm trying to eliminate government at every spot, every chance I get, because it's the right thing to do, you know, constitution. Constitution, big fan. Any any other takeaways about leadership or building teams from your experience running a statewide campaign? I have some core values, man. My core values are integrity, loyalty, and kindness. You know, loyalty as long as it doesn't impugn your integrity. Kindness because there's not a lot out there in this world, and everybody in America seems to be, and let me wipe this off, I'm in the hot house. Everybody in America seems to be working from debt. And that seems to be our guiding principle is greed and debt. And I think love and kindness is a better place to go from because then, I mean, there was this uh, flower company back in the day. They had flower sacks. And when they found out women were making dresses out of this crap for their kids, they started using floral prints. That probably didn't maximize their profits, but they loved and cared for their customers. We're missing kindness in this nation and we're missing kindness i may dislike everything about your politics but i don't have any contempt for you as a person and that's what we're missing we can't have non-contemptuous discussions out there so we need kindness out there that's the one thing i've learned and that's why i have that's why i have core values and my toast is to us and those of our ilk integrity loyalty kindness i okay because it's it's out there it's you have to be kind especially when you don't know what's up, especially when you don't know what somebody else is going through because it's not personal. None of it is. So. I love it. I think I'm going to cut that clip and just keep posting it over and over <laughs> and over again. Cause we need, we need a lot more kindness. We need, we need civility, a... dude, education and civility. 